Hey, hey, hey. Welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and it's Wednesday and on Wednesdays we cash stuff. Um, so that's what we're here to do today. I am having a day, you guys. I'm having a day because I've been working all morning and my um, laminator just decided to eat an envelope. <laughs> Now that happens sometimes. Um, anyone who makes cash envelopes knows that when you make cash envelopes, you like there are like, you know, the manual for the laminator and then a whole list of like, don't do these things. And you do all of those things when you make cash envelopes. Um, so uh, yes, occasionally the laminator does not like that and it eats an envelope or two, but usually they just come out like accordion style, all crunched up, but they do make it out the other side. Um, this morning, mm -mm, no, that's not what happened. It did not make it out the other side. Like it ate that girl for lunch. There was like, <laughs> I had to, <laughs> I had to reverse the machine several times and then fully arm wrestle the laminator to get it out. And we're talking remnants, you guys, like, it, oh, oh my God, it was a melted mess. My whole house smells like burning plastic. Um, so yay for that. And uh, the laminator is obviously uh, not functional now. So <laughs> I'm just, this is me taking a break and uh, having a breath and trying to work out what my next steps are um, because that laminator was really, really expensive because I use a really thick laminate on my envelopes because I like them to be thick and sturdy. Um, a cheap laminator doesn't have the muscle to work with that kind of lamination. So, uh, yes, I, the prospect of replacing it is just a um, little bit much for my brain right now. Uh, it's just all a little bit overwhelming. So we are just going to pretend like that hasn't happened and uh, do some cash stuffing and probably play some savings games immediately after that uh, to try and make me feel less like the world is ending. Yay! <laughs> so, if you're new here, welcome. <laughs> I was going to say I'm not always uh, so much of a loony tune, but that would be a lie. Uh, that would be a fib. So, but absolutely welcome because I do have quite a few new subbies. Love you. Thank you. Um, and I will be doing a new freebie at 7.50 and we're getting close. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and you do enjoy my at times deranged content, um, please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Make sure you like the video and leave me a comment to let me know that you're here because yay. All right, let's do our get to know you question. Um, did you have a nickname growing up? Um, I did. I, <laughs> uh, I had quite a few nicknames growing up. Um, for some reason I fashioned myself a nickname being Mitch when I was in primary school at one stage for a while. Um, but my main nickname growing up actually has nothing to do with my name because I changed my name as an adult. So, um, yeah. Uh, my <laughs> my name now is not what my name was when I was growing up. But anyway, my uh, a little cousin of mine couldn't say my name properly when we were growing up. And so she started calling me Lilu for quite some time, which I quite adored because also the fifth element was out and I thought she was super cool. Um, so yeah, that was my name for a little while growing up. Um, yeah. What was yours? Was it to do with your name or was it something else? So mine was technically to do with my name, but it's not anything to do with my name now. So there you go. There's another, you got two interesting tidbits for the price of one. <laughs> All right, let's get to putting some money away, you guys. And I just realized I have not even told you how much we have here. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 282, 90, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50. I think that was right. Uh-oh. 350, 360, 370, 380, 390, 400, 410, 425. That was right. Okay, so we've got 435. It is a little bit lower because we put that extra towards groceries um, than usual. And this is also including our... So our savings challenge money is in here and so is our money toward, going towards month ahead, which is really exciting. So I will do my month ahead binder 
as part of my savings challenge video. Um, yeah, that's the plan. There's no point doing a separate video for it because it's not going to take that long. So, okay, so water is getting to Wenny. Um, and look at this grubby note someone wrote. Ugh, I hate that. I don't know why people do that. Um, I don't mind the old 20s when they're still like crispy and nice, but when they're grubby, it's gross. But I couldn't be bothered to stand at the ATM and try and get better notes. Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 130 now in water. Okay. Uh, electricity is getting 40. When you give it those grubby, grubby notes. Um, so we're alternating now between giving this 50 and $40. So it gets $40 one week, $50 the other week. And that's because of the $75 the Australian government has given everyone a $75 per quarter um, credit on their electricity bill. So I'm hoping that, that this should still be plenty because we'll have that to help buffer it. So $250, $300, $320, $340, 350 in electricity now, uh, which is a pretty good amount. Gas is getting a whopping $80. So $50. 60, 70, and 80. Actually, I should swap those nice 20s in there because this has to be paid soon. Um, so gas getting extra because our gas bill came in much higher than I was hoping. And it's due at the end of this month. So it has 250, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, 450 in there now. We need 536. Um, so roughly what about another 85 should do it. Hopefully, uh, phones is getting its regular 30. I'm probably going to condense down all these categories more frequently than you usually would. Um, like normally I would only condense once a month, but I might do it more than that this month because my bank branch is shut. Um, it's just such a pain in the neck to get money because they close, they remove the ATMs as well. So I have to walk around the shopping center and find a different ATM. Um, and it's a pain in the neck. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120, 130 in phones. I hope they don't take too long with their renovations because it's really, I had such a good system going. They've ruined everything. Um, and yeah, the next closest branches are not close at all. Uh, so 10, 15, 20 in house now. Or home, whichever. Uh, security is getting five as well, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so we've got 110 in there. So that's enough to cover our subscription. What we're saving now is for the possibility of getting another camera. Although I think if we get another camera, then our subscription cost will go up as well, which is very annoying. Um, but it's just nice to have that peace of mind when we're not home. Uh, that's all for there. Car binder. Let's have a look at you. So car insurance is getting its 30. So that has 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, uh, 210 in there now. Which is good. I wish I could put this much towards other categories. Feels so wasted going to car insurance. Uh, car registration is getting 20. Actually, I need to double check when this is due because it's soon. Man, I've never paid it three monthly before and it just rolls around so quickly. So 200, 220, 240, 260. Um, so I think it's 230 that I owe. Um, so we've got a bit of extra in there, which is good because hopefully we'll be able to build up to paying it six monthly and then annually again. Um, Car service is getting a 10 and my car is due for a service. Unfortunately. So that's got 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200, 205 in there now. Car tires is getting a five, and I think I colored that one off last time. So that's got 70 in it. And then license is also getting a five. So 
so that's got 210 in there now and we only need 235 so that is nearly ready to go which is good be nice to have that one done okay there's that one now actually i don't think anything in there is getting anything it's not so i don't know why i bothered getting it out <laughs> Okay, doctors is being skipped this week and so is medications, but ambulance is getting its five. So that now has in it 20, 30 and 40. That just needs $100 by the end of June. So that is all good. Just ticking away. Whoops. Get in there. Uh, dental is getting 10. I need to build this back up. But oh my goodness, you guys. If you have never tried a water flosser, like I hate, I hate flossing my teeth. I'm really bad with it. It's a just, it's sensory nightmare for me. I hate it. Um, water flossers are amazing. They're so good. Uh, so 210 in there now. I do still need to go to the dentist for like a proper clean. Um, but... Um, yeah, they're so good. They're so, so good. Okay, let's do, um, what color eyes should we do? Let's do these ones. Like a violety blue. Why am I doing two? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, never mind. I won't color that in for a while now. <laughs> Got carried away. Okay, so $10 in optical. The skin check is getting a five as well. So we color in one of those. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 in there now, which is good. I do really need to book that in, but it's going to be like, I think it's 270. I mean, I get anything back, um, which, yeah, I mean, it's good because they do the whole mole mapping thing. So they um, map your whole everything. Um, but yeah, it is pricey. Okay, school is the only, just general school expenses, is the only one getting some love in here. Whoops, today, and it's getting 20, so there's $40 in there now. Um, I need to, my daughter's just told me that she needs, they're doing some big, like week-long excursion. I think they go into the city like every day, um, and the teachers have told them they'll need 150 to $200. So, yay. Um, mind you, they haven't told, like, they haven't sent any information home about it yet. Um, which I find in their, at their high school, they do that a lot. They give a lot of information to the kids and then just rely on the kids to bring that information home. Which isn't the most helpful when you're working with neurospicy kids because they just forget. Uh, so $40 in family fun. That got 20 today. Trying to build that back up. We actually found, I thought I had lost it, but my beautiful uh, sister-in-law um, and my brother, technically, but I know that she's the one that organized it, um, had bought us a, um, oh my goodness, mental blank. Hold on a sec, you guys. I've just realized I've got to get my Christmas binder out. Okay, we're going to put five in here. Um, she had bought us a gorgeous, um, a gorgeous, a voucher for treetop experience um which is like yeah you climb up all of these things and then you walk through the trees and i think there's like a zip line and all kinds of cool stuff so i had actually lost the voucher she bought it for us ages ago um and i thought it had expired um 5 10 15 20 and I lost the voucher. Um, and then she got a reminder email the other day being like, you haven't used your voucher yet. Um, so she's forwarded it back to me. So we'll be able to go and do that for free, which is amazing because that'll be a really, really good day out. Um, we won't have to use any of our family fun money, which is awesome. So very grateful for that. Okay, so birthdays, we're doing fives all round. Where's my, oh no, I don't use that one anyway, do I? We're up to a blue here. So this one is for my oldest. And she's got 100, 150, 170, 190, $205 in there now. 
which is very nice. And my little Dylan. She's having a rough go at the moment, my littlest. Uh, just struggling with the transition back to school, I think. And she's having a few issues with some this boy that she likes to play with, but he's quite uh, aggressive. So 110 in there now. And she just doesn't really know what to make of it. And she just wants to help him, but then he winds up hurting her, which is obviously not at all okay. Um, so yeah, she didn't want to go to school on Friday. I didn't make her. She's been crying like every morning at drop off, which just is the worst. I can't, it breaks my heart. Um, ugh, it's awful. So I hope she settles back in. She's okay soon, but it's just, uh, the poor thing gets so upset. And then I'm like, well, just cause she doesn't want to, she doesn't want me to leave. She doesn't want to leave me. And then even if I'm like, do you know what, Bubby, just come home today. Then if it's all too much, just come home and spend the day with mommy. And she's like, but I want to be at school. So she's so torn because she really wants to go and be with her friends and she likes school, but also she doesn't want me to leave for the day. Um, it's just so heartbreaking. Uh, so 20, 30 and $40 in here now. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really tough. It's really tough when they struggle. I mean, unfortunately I'm well well practiced at it because my oldest um had really bad school refusal when she was little she had a lot of anxiety around school um so we now have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 dollars to tuck away into savings challenges and my month ahead binder so that is all for this video but i am going to film that one right now as well because i just feel like i'm on a roll so i may as well and the lighting is good and then i don't have to go back to worrying about what to do with my laminator <laughs> um so i will see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to subscribe so i can get those freebies out to you sooner rather than later um and i will see you in the next one okay i love you bye bye